All right, guys, this is a challenging one. Uh, what we've got here is a patient who's had a phagic DSEC, has a mature cataract, severe glaucoma with hypotony, and a mature shaking lens. Uh, and our job is to try and get this out without making things too much worse. Uh, we're going to use Vision Blue to help us see the capsule. You can even see some of that Vision Blue getting into the, uh, the, the, the bleb of the trabeculectomy. Uh, using a fair amount of of OVD to help protect the endothelium and then start to make our capsular rexus. And you can even see that lens move and the wrinkles in the capsule as we start this rexus, which is a sure indicator of a difficult time to come. Now, again, as we tear the rexus, you can see those waves of wrinkled capsule indicating a loose capsular bag. And I was lucky in this case though, we were able to tear the rexus without having to put any kind of support system in and we got the rexus relatively large. Now before I even go on, I know this is going to be a tough one, so I'm going to make a couple paracentesis to place the capsular support system and the one that I'm going to use in this case is the disposable system from MST. These are the Chang modified MCRs from MST. You can see that double loop nylon with a little ball on the end of it. We're going to carefully slip those underneath the anterior capsule. Sometimes putting a little viscoelastic underneath the, the capsule is helpful to balloon it up a little bit so you can get the, the hook in place. Now I'm going to place a total of four of them in the eye. And once I get all four of them in, then I'll tighten down the little elastic stopper to keep things in place. A couple of different uh, uh, shots at uh, hydrodissection, you know, all around to make sure that lens is loose. And then what I'm going to do is take a scissor, and it's got to be a sharp, I'm using a West guy here, and I'm going to amputate the ends of the MCR. And what that allows me to do is, you know, in these difficult cases, sometimes there's some motion of the eye or we're rocking the eye back and forth, and the, the, the ends of those hooks will get stuck on the drape or they'll push on something, they can start messing things up inside the eye. So we're going to cut them so they're not getting in the way sculpt deeply two different directions then i'm finally able to free up a a quadrant and look at the size of this cataract it's huge that poor endothelium is already crying but we're going to get this thing out so just careful phaco emulsification we're able to get the entire lens out and then using bimanual ia we're able to get cortex out we're able to do all of this without having to put in a capsular tension ring because we have those four mcrs holding the bag in place never saw the equator come forward and never had any significant issues getting the cataract out additional viscoelastic goes in and we're going to place our our capsular tension ring now you may have seen some videos or heard stories of the previous generation mcrs where you could lace the capsular tension ring into the mcr and i've done that a couple of times myself but with these new chang modified mcrs the uh, little ball at the end of the hook isn't large enough to allow the CTR to fit through it. Now that the implant is in, I'm going to take the little elastic bands off, and I just tend to pull the, the hooks right out through the main wound. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Some people like to, to tease them out through the paracentesis. I just figure, hey, I've got a big wound. I might as well use it. So we're going to pull these around and, and bring them through the main wound. And you can, still, you can see now that the hooks are out, that lens has a fair amount of mobility, but it's no worse than it was before we started the case careful aspiration of viscoelastic trying not to allow the chamber to shallow when anything goes in or outside the eye so we don't worsen the zonulopathy seal up all the incisions things look pretty good although it certainly is a shaky lens gave a little myostat to make sure the pupil comes down keep the eye well back and keep pressure down so thanks to the capsule support system we were able to successfully complete the case